sneak peek. A pair of like different cream jeans and perfect in summer. I want mini eggs. I'm doing a little makeup look. I'm guest dresses. Oh, okay. Hi my lovelies, welcome back to a new video. It feels like it's been so long since I like properly vlogged and picked up the camera at home and just chatted with you guys and I'm excited to finally feel like I want to do that because it's been a weird few weeks. I've had my hair cut though so first thing so let me show you the trim. I've gone for a what me and my hairdresser are calling a lob which is like a long well, we were actually calling it a schlob because we were saying it was like a shoulder length bob, but a lob for like a long bob. <laughs> but I'm really, really happy with it. If you want to see like the process, how I kind of asked for the blonde, the kind of shape, the cut of the fringe, everything like that, I have put everything over my Instagram in a hair highlight and my TikTok does like a full run through as well as some reels that I've posted. So I'll leave one of the reels here on the screen if I can. Um, but it was such an amazing experience at this salon in Brighton called Every and yeah it was probably the best experience I've actually had in a salon in years just because the way that Katie was kind of talking me through my options as a hairdresser alongside what I wanted to achieve felt really reassuring because it's sometimes quite daunting especially when you're getting quite a lot of hair cut off and you're looking for a certain colour that's going to maintain as well as keeping it healthy and like for me that's kind of the forefront of like my hair goals is keeping it healthy and thick and strong so she was like unreal at giving me so many options and being like right if we do a toner it might not be as bright for as long so we didn't actually do a toner so this is going to be my color like it's never going to fade I'm never going to have to like of course in a few weeks or a few months may have to go back and get more color done but at least I know there's going to be no fading of this brightness so yeah she absolutely was just amazing so I'll leave all the details to that down below but just thought I'd start <laughs> with the hair. Um, but guys, it's been, it's been a really actually difficult few weeks, if I'm being completely honest. I feel like over on Instagram and TikTok, I've been basically gripping on to work and posting because it's the one thing that's consistent in my life right now and the one thing that I feel like I have some control over. Whereas everything else just is a lot. There is so much going on for me with personal stuff that isn't really mine to talk about but is very close with like my family and I have just been really struggling so if I'm very all over the place with vlogging over the next coming weeks it's because I'm basically taking it day by day hour by hour and <laughs> just kind of like trying to get through the week and the month and it just all feels a lot so I've been doing lots of PJ days lots of binge watching Daisy Jones and the Six, lots of reading, lots of time with family and all I want to say is what I can say is that life is really short and I just yeah I feel like it's so important to soak up the little things as much as you can. I know this is like stating the obvious and I don't want to be preachy in this video but my goodness have like like this year, well, I was going to say this month, but this year for me has been just the biggest reflection on how I'm living, how I'm looking after my body, how I'm spending my time, how I'm setting boundaries in like every area of my life. And it honestly just feels like I'm on a roller coaster of emotions. So, yeah, a little heart to heart, I guess, between me and you. And I sometimes find it really difficult to be present and like communicate that stuff is going on behind the scenes on my other like socials that I'm on because I don't want to be negative and I don't want to also part of me like can't share some of that stuff and it's difficult sometimes to be like oh life is da -da 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 -da. like but it's everyone has their moments everyone has down days everyone has moments of being sad and I've had a lot of those <laughs> so I'm feeling like I'm just trying to come out the side of being in this negative headspace which I really allowed myself to feel which I needed to feel um but now I'm picking up the camera again and I'm feeling like that is a positive kind of step in just yeah being a bit more up for doing that kind of thing I guess honestly me and my dyslexic dyslexia like I really struggle to get my words out or like communicate stuff sometimes so if it sounds very backwards of what I'm saying a lot of the time that is why um anyway four minutes of me talking but yeah I just wanted to start off by having like a little heart to heart a little catch up and just 
vlog for as long as I feel like I can and pick up the camera when I fancy it to take you guys along with whatever I'm up to, which I, to be honest, I don't know what I'm up to. I have no plans. I was meant to be in Manchester this weekend, but because of everything going on, I'm not. So I'm home. And today I had a very exciting H&M parcel. So I feel like it's appropriate to start with a H&M haul with you guys. I was going to do a separate haul, but do you know what? I'm actually in a dress and pajamas, so... <laughs> <laughs> forgot that I was in pajama bottoms and a dress I was really cold um but this is how big it is absolutely huge and I yeah did this order and I still haven't tried stuff on and I it arrived like nearly two weeks ago so I want to be able to try these on and I was like I was saying going to do a separate video but do you know what I've done enough new in hauls I feel like lately um and I just yeah feel like it'd be nice to maybe chuck in here just as a little something because I have no idea what I'm going to get up to over the next coming days but Here's the little rail. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. Lots of little denim co-ord sets. I've gone for some pajamas for spring. I really wanted to invest in little short ones. I don't have any short pajamas. I have only long pajamas. So I felt like that would be quite cute. And then little blouse and then mainly denim. So that is the little rail lineup. So let's get trying on. Okay, for the sake of this part of the video, there's gonna be three of me side by side because I tried to film in the correct format for YouTube and it's just not having any of it. Like I can't get further enough back to show you guys the jeans or anything. So just doing this angle so that you guys can see a little bit clearer. So I ordered three different denim co sets and these jeans, I love like the wide leg of them. A lot of my H&M jeans, I go for a size six in, that's true to size for me. And I have done always in like their mum, their wide leg fit, their flared fit. However, these are the size six and I have had to just quickly for the sake of this, trying them on, tie them with a hairband at the back because they were just like that much more of the waist is <laughs> on these jeans, which I thought maybe they're meant to be slouchy. Maybe they're meant to be that kind of mid rise fit and shape because of the wide leg kind of tapered look. But I just don't think they work like that for me, especially when I just read online that they are actually high rise. So I've just tied them for the sake of this. However, I am going to order the size down because I love the colour. They're like that really classic cream hair. I really like the fit and the feel and they feel very premium on as well. And I do want to have them with the jacket as a co-ord. So slightly annoying that they don't work, but overall really love the shape but recommend sizing down if you're in between sizes like I am in terms of like your high waist but like hips and waist are very different in different jeans but for high rise I'm always kind of in between so I'm gonna size down in these babies jacket wise I went true to size and went for a size small so online this does come as a co-ord and I love the shape of this jacket however I did try on just now before trying these jeans on a pair of like different cream jeans and the colours are just so different so if I wanted to wear this as a cord with other cream like mum style jeans that I have it just doesn't work so I'd need to style them maybe with like linen trousers blue jeans I feel like this this little like slinky top from Zara and some blue denim like short long dad jeans dad jeans dad shorts <laughs> would look very cool in summer with white trainers but as a cord, how cool is this like i absolutely love the shape of it i love this structure to the denim jacket like how beautiful is that it is so so nice so i'm definitely keeping the jacket let's hope these haven't sold out yet so that i can get them so that i can have a bit of matchy matchy because you know me i love a little cord i love mix and matching pieces also this could potentially be super cute over like a little cropped blouse maybe a little floaty skirt or a satin skirt with this and white trainers that could be a good outfit potentially so next up this denim set which over on TikTok, I posted the darker version, which I'm going to try on next of this jacket and jean combo. And everyone was like, they're not a set. They don't match. Like the colors are different. Same with this. It's very confusing because H&M styled these two together on the site. They did look identical. I don't actually mind the color difference in these two. I feel like it's the closest kind of tan beiges that I'm going to be able to find to be able to style together. However, I think I'm gonna style this more with like satin little mini dresses, midi dresses in spring and summer more and potentially charcoal denim jeans and shorts and then even kind of unbelted. I feel like I basically went one size up so I could style with knits as it's still been super, super cold. But I'm actually thinking 
because I've gone up a size, it's actually that really nice kind of boxy shape. And being five foot three, I do get away sometimes with like little cycling shorts under to wear as a little dress. So I'm thinking I could even do cycling shorts, high top converse, potentially like a black high neck top underneath if I wanted, and then some black accessories as a like denim dress. But I love it with the belt and I also love the shape of it without. And then like undone, it's a really, really lovely kind of boxy fit. So I'm loving this. This also now comes in a light denim as well. And I actually wish I partly got the light denim because I feel like that screams spring and summer. So I do have regrets, but I've got them now. So <laughs> looking to get it. I know that the darker one that I'm gonna try next is sold out, but the lighter denim isn't. So that's always a nice kind of alternative for spring and summer. But yeah, this is it without being done up. So again, really cool still, very boxy. Love the shape, you can remove this. And then I feel like when this is out, it doesn't even look bad. The belt loops don't look too obvious, if that makes sense as well. So. There's lots of different ways I'm gonna style this, but onto the jeans. These are a 90s straight leg fit denim. So again, went for a size six because that's my true to size fit. And they're kind of like a long dad straight leg. So as you can see, they kind of bunch up a bit on me because I am five foot three. I potentially would maybe roll them slightly just so that they don't do that too much on my trainer just so they like kind of fit down and go a bit more tapered, but they're a very tapered dad kind of style, I would say. I mean, they're the 90s straight leg, so it makes sense. But the fit itself, originally I was like, oh my goodness, this is way too tight on my button. However, they kind of fit perfectly everywhere else, apart from like just here. So I feel like the denim may stretch a bit to make that part a bit more comfy. I mean, do they look too tight? just don't really know. I feel like they're quite a nice fit and they're not uncomfortable and that's key for me because of, like comfort is key. So potentially I'll just roll them but size wise these are definitely true to size however obviously this bit like I said is a little bit tight so I'm gonna have to see maybe wear them around the house a little bit today and just see if these maybe loosen up a little bit on the crotch but they're giving me like Levi 501 style and they feel very thick and premium as well, which I really like in my denim. Okay, next set. So the color of these, although again, not the same, only slightly different. So I feel like these aren't as noticeable as the tan set. These jeans are like a tapered wide leg mum combined style. I feel like on top they're that high rise kind of fit, which I'll show you close up in a sec and have that kind of tapered mum fit on top. But then on bottom, they're a perfect kind of wide leg dad style, which I really like. I mean, I've worn these out and about already. I feel like they're really like soft denim. They feel softer than the other styles of denim, which I really like because it gives them a bit more comfort kind of to them. But also they just feel really nice on. Like I'm just like, Oh yeah, nice little soft touch, which I'm all about the comfort in jeans and denim. And then jacket wise, again, I've gone for a size medium because I liked the shape when I went one size up and I just love the style of this. I think potentially this is sold out in this color online. However, I know that this comes in a lighter denim, so I will leave links to what I can down below, but I love the style of this and I'm loving this like blue and pastel color together. I I just love this combo and then I'm just starting with my converse and like neutral accessories currently at the moment but I think moving into spring I'll be doing like white trainers maybe even dad sandals and again maybe styling this like a dress as well okay a little close up of the jeans on so as you can see they fit in that high rise shape I feel like all the jeans fit so differently which is just bizarre to me I like I usually like feel like they're quite consistent however I feel like the shape of these they're loose around my waist so they're actually quite comfortable they might not look the most flattering but I feel like they're very comfortable on and that's kind of what I go for and then they're not too unflattering on the bum but I mean I've worn these now out and about I just really loved the color and the feel of them and then on my leg I don't have to roll them which was also why I decided to keep them because I really like the fit with trainers how they just kind of go slightly bunched but not too much so 
yeah, very happy with those. I've got a few more pieces to try on a top and then two sets of pajamas. So I'm gonna try those on now. Maybe style the top with more pastel kind of tone. Okay, so next, this beautiful top. How stunning are the details to this? I love it. It is so soft on as well. You've got this like elasticated kind of ruche detailing at the back. So it just feels like really easy to put on. It's really just, very like sheer floaty material. So everything feels quite light. I feel like this would be perfect in summer as well. Maybe satin midi skirts on holiday, potentially even little denim shorts and chunky trainers for like an everyday out. And then you can also kind of pull up the sleeve so you can pick and choose like how you style it, which gives it a bit more kind of versatility depending on how you want to style it. If you want to do it under a blazer or a top or a jacket, you then don't have that like bulky puff sleeve underneath it, which is, a little bit of a pet peeve for me because being in the UK, you kind of have to layer every single puff sleeve top. So I like the fact that you can just have it like that for like denim jacket styling and trench coat styling. And then when you want to be a bit more fancy, have a bit more puff sleeve, but I just love this. I'm obsessed, fits true to size. I love the little tidy detailing bit as well. I feel like you could potentially, oh my goodness, I did not think about this. I feel like this could be quite cute to add a little bit more something something to the top and like mix it up a bit. That might be too much. I'm just looking in the mirror now. I, I, yeah, sorry that I'm not looking at you guys and I'm looking in the viewfinder because I don't have anything behind. So I don't actually know how anything looks. So sorry if I keep switching my eyes like to you guys and then above, but does that look, does that look right? That could be quite cute. I mean, <laughs> it's different. But anyway, that is the little top. Okay, second to last, this little pajama set. So I got these both in a size small, true to size in terms of pajamas, and they fit like a really nice kind of boxy shape, but how cute are the shorts? I love the style of these. I feel like I'd actually wear this to the beach and like undone over bikinis, things like that. I probably, if it wasn't so see-through, I would actually wear it out and about with like high top trainers, but because of like how sheer this like linen cotton blend material is, I definitely couldn't wear it out and about because I would definitely flash someone. But the material is lovely. It's like a really nice like linen cotton blend and this lovely little pastel color, which I'm just loving pastels right now. So I'll definitely be wearing this on the beach, which might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I definitely will do like an undone pastel bikini beach kind of outfit with this as well as wearing it to bed. Okay, lastly, this little striped lemon pajama set. So the shorts are more of that like boxer style fit. Again, really comfortable, very, very loose and light. Compared to the last set, this feels a lot lighter. And I feel like it's maybe not a linen blend. I feel like it's just cotton because it feels a bit more of that like structured material. However, a lot looser and lighter on. But again, can you imagine this? Like tucked in a pair of denim shorts, little trainers. I'd actually wear the shirt out quite a lot, I think, because it's just so cute. I'm gonna stay in this now for the rest of the day, although I have got some more filming to do, but yeah, I love this. So I'll leave everything linked down below. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I literally am obsessed with the majority of the pieces, so that is good. <laughs> I feel like I'm just spending all my money on spring clothes, <laughs> which is not so good. <laughs> but anyway, I've actually got to film now a few hair videos because I'm gonna do some spring hairstyles and crack on with that. So I'm actually gonna stay in the pajamas to film the first few because this is just very comfy. I forgot to also show you guys my nails. So annoyingly, so a couple of days ago, I went and got my nails done and me and Beth were kind of going back and forth with different ideas on what set to go for because it's like pre-Easter and I wanted to go quite fun and pastel coloured and I was going to do pastel chrome and then she was like, shall we get inspired by mini eggs and do like a mini egg set? And I was like, yes, if that is possible. So she did this amazing set on me, which I'll show you in a sec, but I recorded the whole thing and the whole process and I was editing it and then my phone... I lost four outfit like ways to wear a spring trench coat video and then also lost all my nail like footage and I don't know what happened with my phone something glitched in the iCloud I'm not really sure honestly the iCloud freaks me out and I swear I've had so many bad <laughs> bad moments with it but I lost how she did it but basically she used a um so she did the pastel colored and then she put on this like Aztec matte it's like the speckled kind of effect and then did another layer of color and then did that again. And I am honestly 
obsessed. Every time I look at my nails, I want mini eggs and I've been to four co-ops in the last two days and they've sold out. So I'm hoping today at some point I can track down some mini eggs because all I wanna do is eat mini eggs right now because of this. <laughs> so that's good. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul a little bit and I'm gonna crack on with this hair filming and then we can catch up a bit later on and spend the weekend together. <laughs> 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 Good morning guys, happy Saturday. <laughs> Jay's just doing his twerking. Do you know what, when me and Jay first got together, I walked in on Jay in my bedroom doing a tutorial on how to twerk, didn't I? That was like the first time I the stayed at yours. Yeah, the first time you were on my bed learning how to do a twerk off. Jay can actually dance better than I can and also twerk better than Which I can. Which isn't hard. Which isn't hard, that is so mean. You're the worst dancer ever. Um, we're just heading out for coffee guys, I am the worst dancer ever. Um, I thought I'd show you our outfits. Watch out for your sleeves. I don't want to get makeup on it. <laughs> um, I am in this coat from Ted Baker, which is a couple of years old. Jamie said that he'd want to wear this tee, which I would actually pay to see that. So maybe at some point we'll get him to try on this super tight tee. But this is from White Fox Boutique. Jeans are really old collision. Trainers are dunks. Bag is the Nervuro edit. Jamie is wearing jumper weekday. Yeah. Gilet, H&M. Yeah, it is. Jeans, Topman. Mm, nothing near ASOS. ASOS, Birkenstocks and my socks. And Beanie is a Dickies waffle knit hat. And that is the fit. And we're off to get coffee. And I'm very excited. Tip. I've only been waiting an hour. Yeah, Jay has been waiting an hour for me. But I did get ready for you today and usually I don't. Thanks. Yeah. So we actually just headed into Brighton and went for food at a place called Kooks. And basically Jamie's goal of the morning was we're going somewhere we've never been before. So that's what we did. And it was actually really, really delicious. Like Jamie said, it was the best hollandaise sauce he's ever had. So Chloe, if you're watching, we need to go. Um, and it did taste very creamy and very, very good. But I've just got back and to be completely honest, there's not a hell of a lot happening this afternoon. I am... Um, Basically, I've just got in pyjamas that just arrived from a brand that I absolutely love called, I think it's Seren, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it right, S-E-R-E-N-A, Sienna, <laughs> basically, I'm going to leave it here on the screen, but she does the most amazing like bamboo sets and pyjamas and dressing gowns and loads of different shapes, loads of different styles, and you can get like long sleeved, you can get short sleeved, you can get long trousers, you can get shorts, and they feel insane. I got a dressing gown for my auntie last year and you can get them personalized. I chose not to have them personalized just because then I find that I wear them a bit more. And even these trousers, like going on holiday, they are so amazing on. I mean, all the trousers are a little bit long on me, but for just being indoors and then when I'm away and I just wanna be comfy, I just wish you guys could feel through the screen. Like the fabric is beautiful. I'm gonna wear the gray set that I got tomorrow. So I'll show you that, but I honestly can't recommend like the quality and feel of this enough. So I've just got in my comfies. I've got a hot crust bun going on. I was gonna read my book, but then Eden, my sister, <laughs> she just told me that the last two episodes of Daisy Jones and the Six are now online. So best believe I am jumping straight onto Amazon Prime. I'm gonna watch that and edit some stuff on my phone um, because it's just so windy out there. I mean, the sky is blue sky kind of trying to come through, but I don't know if you guys can see that tree. It is so windy today. And so that's just making it super, super cold. Like, I don't know if it's gonna do it. But if you didn't watch my last video or I haven't spoken about it yet, or maybe I have spoken about it already in this vlog, I am literally obsessed with Daisy Jones and the Six. There's 10 episodes. I believe they're all completely out now. And I read the book a year ago and I am obsessed. So I'm excited to finish it. I actually think they've done it really well. Like compared to the book, I sometimes feel like you read the book and you're like, is this gonna be as good? Like, is this actually gonna just be one of those things where you're like, oh, the book was so much better. But do you know what? I have to say, I'm actually liking it just as much as I liked the book. And how I pictured them to be is how they are, a minor Suki Waterhouse's character, which she does it really well, but there's something about the way that I envisioned her in the book that's slightly different. But apart from that, I'm loving it. If you haven't watched it, seriously, like really recommend. I'm gonna stop raving on about it now. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna get into bed. I'm gonna edit. Lots of the like little bits that I filmed yesterday. I basically have 
um, my work phone and it's currently at like capacity of like space. And that's because yesterday I filmed over like three hours <laughs> worth of videos. So better get cracking so that I actually have some space to do work next week basically. Um, but yeah, I am excited to get into bed. I have my eyebrows done and they really dark until I get the, until they like fade a bit. So right now they're just way too dark for my face. And I'm realizing that as I'm looking in the viewfinder a little bit. So yeah, excuse how dark my brows look. They are going to fade, but they're always really dark the first time I get them done. But I love that I just don't have anything on them and they will get lighter, which is good. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the mini update of the day. I've actually got some girls coming over later. So we'll make a little salad together, have a pizza night. And um, yeah, it's gonna be really cute and cozy. So I'm excited. So <laughs> the last clip you saw, I think I was about to watch Daisy Jones and the Six. And then I just had one of those moments again where I was like, I just need to go to bed and I just need to ride out these emotions. And yeah, didn't pick up the camera for the whole weekend. I actually ended up spending quite a lot of time with my like group of girls that I've grown up with from when I was like, three or four and it was so needed so I kind of just switched off so I'm really sorry that it was just one of those moments but I feel like processing emotions and all of that just isn't linear so some days I'll pick up the camera and I'll feel up for kind of filming and I mean I feel like sometimes it's quite difficult when you're in that raw emotion to pick up the camera and film yourself like for me it always feels quite bizarre but then I'm aware that then you guys don't get to see like both sides of things. You see the highlight side of stuff. But for me, like sharing like happy moments or little moments and things like that is just my way of kind of coping. And also I love this kind of little outlet that I can connect with you guys about stuff that I'm passionate about and happy about. So yeah, I find it hard to find the balance sometimes, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm feeling so much better today. It's a Tuesday now. Um, Daisy Jones and the Six was amazing. Like, amazing. I absolutely loved it. I actually would go as far to say that I think I preferred it to the book. The book took me so long to get into, but like I said, I just feel like they nailed the characters. I loved it. The ending, oh my God, I was an absolute mess. My sister came in and I was like hysterically crying. She was like, oh, you got to the end. And I was like, yeah. Um, but it's just so good. The way that they did it, the cinematography, the outfits, just mm, so good if you haven't watched it already. But I thought we could start the day doing a little makeup look. I'm using a few like newish products that I've been using for like the last week and a half. So firstly, well actually all the new products are from Rare Beauty. And firstly I'm using this little baby, which is their, it's called their under eye brightener, but it's like a metal, like cooling eye stick. <laughs> Only way to describe it and it just brightens so much what i just applied as well was the iconic london radiance booster in the shade champagne but i will leave everything linked down below but i thought we could do a little bit of makeup today for my film day because i'm gonna be full filming mode today so there won't be a hell of a lot to share other than like get ready with me and then my evening me and my mum are going to try the new menu at ivy asia which i'm really excited about so there'll be little bits and bobs and like for the week me and jay are going to try a few new restaurants this week which i'm really excited about like one of our goals in brighton was to go and experience new places and yeah just just go to places that are a little bit different we go to the same places all the time and I feel like we need to get a bit out of our comfort zone with places we're eating. So we're going to a new place tomorrow called, I've forgotten now, Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, there you go. Um, so I'll take you guys along for that as well. But yeah, I thought we could do my makeup together. I was just watching Sophie Floyd's um, little pink eyeshadow, like cat eye kind of smoky look that she did. And instantly I was like, I need to try doing my pinky eyeshadow like that. So I may do that today, I think, and see how we go. But also just find my, guys, my toilet. Can you hear it? I really don't know how much you guys can hear it, but it is so annoying. It's so loud. And I'm just, yeah, I'm not having it. <laughs> don't know what goes on with it. It's got a mind of its own. Anyway, I just put that as a base just to really brighten under my foundation and my concealer and you literally just need the tiniest bit um as you can see it just makes my face very very light so i'm gonna apply the darker foundation now 
So I'm using the Rare Beauty, this is in 190W, which is my fake tan shade. So you literally, I was using this the other day, put quite a bit on of like what I'd normally put on with like the Halo Glow foundation, which is a fave as well, but then realized you don't need that much. So I am gonna start with pretty much nothing on my face because I, yeah, I'm really liking not going too heavy at the moment with my foundation. So we'll see how that goes being blended in. And then I'm just gonna dampen my beauty blender as well. I think I'm just gonna use a bit of water sponge it up probably need to get a few more of these i always like find washing them just makes them go a little bit i don't know not not right <laughs> not right but anyway how are you guys as well let me know in the comments below i'd love to know how you guys are all doing as well um i just can't thank you guys enough for like the support over here and just being so lovely i love chatting to you guys in the comments i was watching um some girl on TikTok this morning and she, I feel like I'm sidetracking here, but she was talking about how one of the goals for the year was really kind of focusing on the things that made her happy. So she's going on all these like solo dates. So she's been going to like gigs by herself, things like that, that make her happy just for her, that she does just for her. And yesterday morning, I, cause I seen a few of her videos, I went and sat on the beach and I was like, do you know what? I need to do this every day and I need to go and have like my happy moments where I go and like sit and I go for a morning swim and I go for dinner by myself. So I think I'm gonna book myself in. I don't know what for yet. I yesterday went and worked in a coffee shop by myself, which I've never done. And it felt really nice doing that, but also just maybe looking into different areas of like, I don't know, things that make me happy that I do just for me and I don't do alone. And it's like pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, but in a smaller scale, I guess, because it's stuff you can do here. I mean, I say smaller scale. I feel like being outside your comfort zone in any scenario is always a little bit overwhelming, but smaller scale in terms of things that I can do, like I can go sit on the beach and I can go for a morning swim alone. And that makes me really happy. I mean, starting Reformer for me was really scary at first. And the one that opened in Hove, I've been going to like three or four times a week. And I was so nervous to go alone. And still sometimes when I'm there alone, I'm like, oh, I feel really anxious. But then once I'm in the swing of it and enjoying myself, I absolutely love it. So yeah, just me rambling, but I really recommend doing something that just makes you really happy this week and doing it for you. I'm gonna do a few little date days, I think, for myself. Maybe go buy myself flowers. Maybe take myself on a little lunch date. I feel like dinner would be pushing it right now, but lunch I could do um, and do more of the things that like make me happy. So yeah, I was really enjoying her videos and her going on like solo gigs and stuff. Um, if I can find her videos, I'll leave her link down below, which is really cool. Anyway, putting the concealer on, I am using the shade 170W and then I'm gonna just like probably mix a bit of my foundation I think with a bit of the halo glow just because I've got fake tan on my body but not on my face and I feel like it's looking quite light at the moment on my skin so I'm just gonna blend in this I'm also not gonna ramble anymore because otherwise this would be a very very long video so I'm just gonna time lapse and clips now and again. Maybelline mascara I always have done I love it I yeah I just feel like it really lifts lashes in a really nice way I always feel like when I'm doing my makeup I hate how this looks until I've done my lips but I am using some new products on my lips again this has only been a week of using this but this is the rare beauty lip liner in the shade talented it's like this really like muted creamy kind of color and it's really hydrating and then i'm accompanying it with a lip like a matte lipstick and then a gloss as well so as 
you can see it's like quite a, like a nice subtle mauvey kind of color again very creamy very very hydrating which i absolutely love and then lipstick wise i'm using the shade creative and then i'm using the lip balm in thankful both by rare beauty i do really like the lipstick by itself however i like how the gloss gives it that like darker kind of shine and it's just really lovely on so this is again like a really nice match possibly like a shade down from the lip liner i'd say it's like a really nice nudey pinky color and i always find with matte lipsticks they make my lips like really really dry however this is really hydrating again and yeah it just feels really nice on so i do like this combo just together just those two i'm noticing that the light is awful in this bathroom so i apologize i'll show you guys in the light by my window in a minute and then lip balm wise it's this really nice again bit darker this is more close to the shade of the lip liner i'd say but i just kind of put a little bit on the middle and the corners just to add a little bit of gloss to the lips and it just makes the lips have that really nice shine to it it does make them a bit more of like an evening lip but i quite like that also with the eyes i did want to do flicks but I just was like having one of those moments where I was like, I don't actually have the right pink that I want to be able to blend out my eyes with eyeliner flicks right now. So I just did my classic pink, but oh, just before I finish, I used the Kate Somerville Factor 50. This is actually a sun cream setting spray and you can also use it under or over your makeup. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of this. I'm gonna have to move over here just because I've got some drinks on my side and I don't want sun cream tasting drinks. So I'm gonna go all the way <laughs> over here. And this keeps happening where so much is coming out because I spray it too close that I'm getting a little bit of sun cream so I've got to gently tap into the skin. But it's not actually that sunny today and I'm not going out so um, I just needed like a bit layer, a, a bit layer, a bit of a layer on my skin just because you know you always need sun cream on and all that but yeah that is the skin done. I feel like the lighting where I was just filming was awful but this is the finished look so I've gone for like a very sunset pink eye. I used the NARS ambient palette which I think is their unrated ambient or unrated something and i've had it for years it's about to run out and then yeah just use the rare beauty blushes and charlotte tilby bronzers and highlighters and yeah that is me good to go i've had my eyebrows tinted and all i use on them is my trusty pink honey brow which if you guys do want to see me do my brows and like how i do them then let me know and i can film that in maybe next week's video but i didn't want to like bore you just in case some of you guys follow me on tiktok or instagram because i speak about it a lot but yeah that is the finished makeup look i'm gonna film some hair videos now just before i start filming some trench coat videos so i'll show you guys when my hair is done i think i'm gonna do a sleek straight look hair is done i did like a just sleek dyson blow dry and it's the first time i've had my short hair and like started it straight and i actually really love it straight as well which is nice because for so long when it was growing it was in that awkward phase where i was like hating every little bit of it being straight because of the layers so I'm loving not having layers but I've just set up the rails so today I am adding to a video that's coming on Tuesday so after this one or actually might be coming before this vlog I'm not sure either way it's going to be live or live very soon and I've got 16 outfits of trench coat styling I'm filming the last kind of I think eight today um and doing a few more like neutral looks but also kind of outfits that I love styling so I've got like my logo tees, coloured dresses, things like that just to kind of show a mix and match of how I'm going to be styling my <laughs> neutral trench coat here and then I've put out my outfits for my shoot day in London on Friday so that's why clothes are kind of everywhere but this is my neutral trench that I've had for years and I just love the colour and shape of it so so much. I felt like it seemed about right just to do like a full form like well a few more like eight outfits with just that trench because in the video I featured a few different styles of different tonal kind of creams and beige trench coats but that's the one I've had for like nearly seven years and it's the one that I continue to like gravitate towards so gonna film that now 
And if you wanna see how I did this hair look, that'll be over my TikTok and also my Instagram at some point soon, probably my TikTok first. I actually post most of my videos that I film on the day over there, so they're pretty instant. And I definitely upload a little bit more of a chatty styled day in the life vlogs, get ready to me, things like that. So currently, I am just trying to pick an outfit for dinner with my mum. I love this top from Zara. I'm just not sure if it's very flattering with these jeans because these jeans are kind of that low rise kind of fit. But I was thinking this is quite nice for a grey day. It adds a bit of colour. I might even, no, not sure. But I've got black boots on and then I'm thinking black oversized blazer. And yeah, I'll just see how I go with trying on outfits. But this could potentially be an option. But I'm also thinking maybe I'll go for some like beige tonal cream looks with maybe a sage blazer. I'm feeling like I want to go a little bit lighter because today has been so rainy all day and I can see just the sun hopefully coming out. So fingers crossed, <laughs> I manifest some nice weather by trying on colorful outfits. Right, my lovelies, film day is done. That took me a lot longer than expected. I actually just had like lack of motivation midway through filming. So I had a really, really lovely long lunch break, which Sometimes I feel like I don't take lunch breaks enough, so I'm like purposely and consciously doing it more where I actually need to like sit down and just not have like something going on or editing at the same time. So that really helped like kick start me back into feeling a bit more motivated, but film the video so that will either be live already or going live soon. And I've just got very, very quickly changed the lipstick to more of this like mauvey colored one, which is a mix between the Rare Beauty and the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's called sand lip liner or something like that. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, but I've just put on this evening's dress, excuse the clothes horse in the background. But um, this is the Zara dress and I just am not feeling any of my outfits this evening. So this is kind of what I've gone with just because it's long sleeved. I'm gonna wear a long black coat. My boots are very, very comfortable. It feels like really nice on. It's like not like a stretch, but the sheer material is like really soft. So I don't feel like, although it's quite cinched in here, it feels very like soft on and there's room to feel comfortable while I'm sitting down. And I really like the shoulder pads as well of this, but yeah, that is what I'm gonna wear this evening. I'll leave the pieces linked down or like similar to the boots down below as well. And then yeah, just gonna chuck on a black coat. So I'm gonna time lapse the next few clips of us at Ivy Asia. I probably won't talk to you guys till the morning just cause who knows what time we're gonna get in. But yeah, this is the little fit of the night. <laughs> Guys, it is now the next day. I had a little breakfast. It's not brunch. the morning. Oh, it's not the morning. It's the afternoon, isn't it? It's definitely afternoon oh, now. Okay. Well, that was kind of like mine and Jamie's breakfast and coffee. And um, we just went to this place here behind me called Meanwhile. Last nice. night as well was unreal. Um, I tried to film quite a lot, but me and my mum got a little bit drunk, and it was honestly hilarious. She screamed as the dessert platter came out because it was so big. She was like. <laughs> like that she was so excited um but I had the best evening really recommend the lavender martini my favorite cocktail now i'm with jay and um we are heading just to do some errands today actually in town i was having like a little day where i don't do a hell of a lot gonna, and i do we're gonna look at some soup shops are we is that what we're gonna do but moss why not now we're in town oh, moss now we're in town we might as well moss, try, moss we want to try, moss try a boss. shirt on don't we moss bros moss bros <laughs> Should we go to Coz? Wicked! Should we go to Coz? Where's Coz? Down just there. What? To look for men's suits. Coz. Basically, we have our first wedding, one of um, Jamie's really good mates in wedding in June. So best believe I'm doing wedding guest dresses as a series. Oh my God, this dog. Oh my God, this dog. Is this like the one you carry? Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, it is the one you carry. I don't think I'll be able to film it, guys, it's but it's a guy. little blonde sausage. Do you think it's the same guy? Yeah. <gasps> it's the one that I met like weeks yeah. ago. Oh my god, it is so cute! 
he works in a pub. And he, he works in him. a pub, and that's his little. We're soft. in a cafe, and he just he just picked him up and gave him to you, and yeah. said, "I want him to know strangers because I I work in a pub, and he's going to be there all day." I know he was only like eight weeks old. Yeah, he's a little squirrel. Um, and he has the nicest fur I've ever seen on a sausage it's dog. Nice, it's like, like retriever. La- yeah, Labrador <laughs> retriever. Um, anyway, we're going to go suit shopping, maybe wedding dress shopping. I might pop into Zara and see if there's any we're in there. We're just going to have a look. I might try on a couple of shirts to see what fit. Yeah. Um, I also I need to size myself. I don't know how to do that or where to go. It would be a good idea to gauge your size today. Maybe even in Moss Bros, whatever I'm talking about is a place. Yeah. Anyway, oh, um, oh. <laughs> we are very busy, my friend. We're busy. Anyway, we're going to go suit shopping, wedding dress shopping. I'll take you guys along. Um, only for a bit, probably. I'm not even sure if we'll find anything. But I think we'll try. Moss. We are. And Jay is trying on some blazers. This is one of the options. Because we got a wedding. Oh, we you got, know. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is the suit, guys. Turn to the side. Wow, I like this a lot. I think I would like a mix, though. More. Not the trousers. Yeah, I'd like but I think the with peaches, with it will break it up. Something else. So we kind of want this colour with the. Would it, it would have to be Hi guys, so I am back home now. I'm looking very red. <laughs> I think it's because I've just scrubbed off my fake tan. But um, back home now. I don't know what the last clip I recorded was. I think it was potentially just us in the suit shop. We then went into M&S and just tried on blazers for Jay that were like true to size fits. Like some of their blazers were not the right colour or tone or shape. So it was more for the fit that he tried a few of those on went into Zara, there was literally nothing in there, not even for me, and H&M went in there and actually did. I did end up getting myself a little something that I've actually been eyeing up online for a while. So I saw this hat online and it sold out really, really quick. I'm gonna look silly putting this on when I'm in my pajamas and I'm so red. It looks like I've been on a holiday and I've got sunburn. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. Maybe I've had a reaction to my cream. This happens sometimes when I try something else. Anyway, I thought this was very, very cute. It doesn't look cute right now, but it, it will be cute on my little summer haul. And it comes with a matching bag. How cute is that? I'm looking in the mirror now thinking maybe I should have got the size up. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should have got the size up. Is my head too big? I don't know. I'm envisioning, I'm envisioning. Hi guys, so I am currently editing this video. Realise I randomly ended the last clip of trying on a hat. Like I'm not really sure what was going on there. And then I didn't pick up the camera for a few days again. And I know I said this at the start briefly, but I'm just gonna be a bit all over the place when it comes to vlogging over the next probably a few weeks, just picking up the camera here, there, and then everywhere. <laughs> I'm spending a lot of days in my pajamas like right now, these are from Chelsea Piers, by the way, honestly, the softest things ever, like I'm obsessed, I wish you guys could fill through the screen, but I'm spending a lot of days in my pajamas editing or just with family and like taking things a lot slower, partly for my health and also just stuff going on behind the scenes and just trying to look out for myself a bit more and be a bit more conscious about it, which I've already touched on, but I just appreciate you guys being here and watching my videos, I love having this space like so much like it's the nicest distraction right now for me to be able to put my energy into something else so I appreciate if you guys watch my videos and you're here and I just hope you guys are good I hope you're enjoying some sunshine the weather seems to have turned around the last few days so I hope you all just have the loveliest weekend it is actually Easter weekend tomorrow so if you're watching this on Sunday then happy Easter and I just hope you're doing lots of lovely things you're eating lots of lovely chocolates and with family or friends and loved ones and yeah I'm just sending all my love to you all I'm gonna actually be vlogging this weekend that you're watching this when this goes live if you're watching it on a Sunday so I will edit that and upload that next week as well so I'll see you guys in another vlog very soon but I feel like this is hitting an hour mark now so I'm gonna end this here and I just appreciate you all so so much and I'm just sending like so much love to you all as well and wishing you the loveliest start to your week and I was gonna say March then but we're in April now <laughs> so I hope you guys have a lovely April as well lots of love Mwah. bye